Now a 6-1 win today, twice on the score sheet. Your thoughts? Yeah, obviously had a really good game today, but I think the most important thing is everyone played out their skin. Uh, everything clicked and I was just happy to get the three points, but obviously the manner in, we do, the manner in what we, we, we done it and showed today, our performances, um, was quite remarkable and we just need to, obviously the boys have set a standard now and we just need to keep that going and, and focus on the game on Tuesday. That's obviously a good result for us, but we need to put that to bed now and focus on Inverness and try and get a similar performance and if we do that then there's no reason why we can't win the game. You mentioned uh, a standard and individual performances there. Um, how mu how important is it to emphasise the fact that that wasn't a case of United playing badly today? It was the fact that Falkirk were just on fire. Yeah, I think it's the game plan we set out. We played high and up against them. We didn't allow them to, to come out, step out and, and play the ball. So I don't think it was so much United played bad. It was more the fact that everything was clicking for us. We, we performed um, very, very well um, and when we defended well and then when we got into the final third we were very clinical. Um, so no, it was a good performance by us and we can't take anything away from the performance because everybody that was there today and seen uh, with their own eyes that it, it, um, we were far better and, and it was just down to the performance of us and not really a bad performance by Dundee United. Do you, do you worry at all when you go a goal down in the early stages? Um, Personally, I don't really worry about that, but I know maybe other players could be affected by things like that. Um, it's just the nature of the game when, when things like that happen, it can affect confidence. Um, but I think the way we started the game, um, we were kind of on the front foot, and then to lose a goal kind of against the run of play, um, you're just hoping that it doesn't go 2-3 for them. And obviously it was unfair for us at that point, but we showed good character to to obviously keep heads down, keep working on the game plan that we had. We managed to execute that and obviously we've come out obviously dominant in, in the end. Talk us through your goals. Yeah, I've just got the ball the first one wide area and I've just cut in the park and I was actually looking for a pass. Um but the runners for the the striker Andrew Nielsen and I think it was Sybil as well, they they've made runs and dragged players with them. So I've just continued and just thought why not? Obviously last week I've cut inside as well and I just this was the other side and I've just Unleashed a left foot shot and it's managed to go in. And then the second one, kind of similar, I've ran it um, Scobie and I've cut inside and just kind of, that one was more of a kind of finesse finish. That was kind of guided with my left foot. So, um, no, I'm really delighted. Um, and obviously I've hit the bar today as well. I've managed to get an assist. So overall, I'm very, very delighted with, with my performance. I've managed to um, contribute in the team winning. And that's the main thing. I've always said that regardless if I'm scoring or, or assisting, it's as long as the team winning and I put in a good performance and that's the main thing I managed to do that today and Falkirk fans should be happy and the support they showed today obviously is, is very very good and they get behind us and for us to put on a show like that then they must be happy and we're obviously very delighted. You said uh, so I thought why not and just hit it is that the official James McFadden Paris answer? Um, oh, I don't know it's just when you're in a situation um, obviously there's there's many options that you can take whether to pass it whether to shoot whether there's, there's other things to do in a situation, um, but when it opens up with that, it's obviously about just deciding and being clinical, um, and I've managed to, to put the ball in the net, and thankfully, obviously, I, I got two today. Um, maybe I should have had three, but I'll, I'll be happy with two today and, and just focus on the game on Tuesday and try and add to the collection. We're now uh, three points behind Dumbarton, I believe. We had to have a game in hand. Suddenly, it's starting to look a lot more positive. Yeah, I think it's been looking positive um, for a for a couple of months now. Like in terms of like getting clean sheets and stuff like that. As long as we're defending well, um, it gives us a platform to for the forward players to go and express ourselves. And it's down to us to to obviously be clinical at that end of the pitch. Um, and I think the the couple of games where we kept clean sheets, we had missed chances, and it didn't look obviously good um, for the defensive side because we should be be getting three points for them games, and and we felt as if we dropped two points in, in a couple of them. Um, then we got the win last week. I thought we were dominant for about 60 minutes in last week's game against Queen of South. And then today we knew if we'd performed like that, then um, there was no reason why we couldn't win. It um, doesn't matter who we're against. If we perform like that, I think we could beat anyone in the league. So that's the kind of standard we've set ourselves today. Um, we need to go in every game now with confidence and the belief that we can win the game. Um, and, and I have full confidence in everyone, obviously, in the change room and staff, and that, that we'll, we'll climb the table. And that's the reason why. I've obviously signed here on a permanent basis um, because I had the belief um, before this game today that we're going to climb the table and um, every point's vital and we're just very happy today that we'll get the three points and 
and obviously focus on Tuesday now. And that's the thing, just finally on Tuesday, it's uh, the long trip north up to Inverness. How tough a, a game and how close a game will that be? Because usually they are quite uh, hard fought affairs, these ones. Yeah, I think a lot of teams struggle when they get up there. Uh, they make it hard. Um, every game, obviously, we can't get ahead of ourselves and try and like be overconfident and and think t Tuesday night's going to be an easy game because we've beat Dundee United uh, with, with such a big score. Um, it's going to be very difficult. Um, we know that. We just have to go in with the right attitude. Um, and we know, obviously, it seems if we're kind of starting to click. Um, everybody's on a kind of similar wavelength now. And, and if we just perform the way we did today, and, and obviously put in the hard work, it's mostly the hard work, because today I thought, off the ball, we were exceptional. We were winning it. We didn't give them time on the ball. So. As long as we put in the hard work, we've got the quality to, to win games in this league. Well, congratulations on the two goals today and uh, as always, thanks for your time. Thanks a lot. Cheers.